Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you six Rubik's Cube tips. Now these tips are very, very useful whether you are just starting to learn to solve the Rubik's Cube or whether you have been solving Rubik's Cubes for years. So let's get right to the tips. The first tip is to get a good quality Rubik's Cube. Now, you can absolutely memorize all of the algorithms, you can, you can execute them really quickly, but if your Rubik's Cube keeps getting stuck in certain positions, um, then it, you know, it will really slow you down and it will make the process very frustrating. So tip number one is to make sure that you get a really good quality Rubik's Cube. The second tip is practice makes perfect. Now, when it comes to solving a Rubik's Cube, it is literally all about practice. And just like many other things in life, if you practice solving the Rubik's Cube and you practice the various algorithms, you will inevitably get better and be able to solve the Rubik's Cube faster and more flawlessly. So tip number two is practice makes perfect. The third tip is to look at the next move while you are solving the current move. So a lot of the time when solving a Rubik's Cube, a lot of the time is wasted um, when you solve one of the moves, when you solve one of the pieces and then you waste time looking for the next piece to solve. So while you are solving one of the pieces, you can go ahead and look at the next piece to solve. This way when you have finished solving the current piece, you can immediately move on to the next piece. So tip number three is to look at at the next move while you are solving the current move. The fourth tip is to memorize all of the algorithms. Now solving a Rubik's Cube quickly is all about algorithms and using them properly. So if you are looking at algorithms, you know, on a spare sheet of paper and trying to figure out which one to do next, you will waste a lot of time. So in order to solve a Rubik's Cube quickly and flawlessly, one of the best things that you can do is memorize all of the algorithms. And that is tip number four. Make sure that you memorize all of the algorithms. The fifth tip is to make rotations with one or two fingers instead of using your whole hand. So for instance, if I wanted to turn this, um, if I wanted to rotate this top layer, I would, you know, some people would use their whole hand like that. But it, it wastes a lot of time and it actually uses your wrist and your hands much more than you need to. Instead of using your whole hand, just use one or two of your fingers, just like that. So you can solve it just like that. You can turn this layer just like that. There are many different ways that you can make your rotations using one or two fingers. And that will allow you to save a lot of time when solving the Rubik's Cube. And it will also allow you to save a lot of effort. You won't need to use nearly as much effort. And that is tip number five. Make rotations using one or two fingers instead of your whole hand. The sixth tip is to lubricate your cube. Now, once again, if you are, you know, making your rotations and the Rubik's Cube keeps getting stuck, then it will definitely cause your solving time to be much higher. So if you make sure to lubricate your cube, not only will you be able to uh, solve the cube much faster because you will be able to make your, your, you will be able to make your rotations much faster, um, but it will also save you a lot of frustration because if the cube get, if the cube keeps getting stuck, um, then it will definitely cause you to be very frustrated. So that is tip number six. Lubricate your cube. And that's basically it. Those are six Rubik's Cube tips. Now, if you keep these tips in mind, and if you actually use these tips when solving the Rubik's Cube, your solving time will be much better. You will end up using less effort when solving the Rubik's Cube, and you will also not be as frustrated. So you should definitely keep these tips in mind when using your Rubik's Cube and solving your Rubik's Cube, and you'll be good to go. 
And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.